Our chosen area for our site-specific dance piece was situated in an urban landscape, along the Leeds to Liverpool Canal. We were firstly drawn to the large open space available, the different textures and graffiti and the modern architecture, contrasting with the derelict red brick. Our main stimulus became the three towers located here. With the water of the canal flowing adjacent to us, and the trains frequently passing ahead, Tower Works was full of contrasts. We thought this area would be great to respond to. We made the aesthetic choice to have three performers in our piece to go alongside the three towers. As each tower was very different in structure, design and quality, we took our individual improvisation in response to our towers, creating distinctive movement. My tower was very plain, appeared when down and did not have a visible purpose. I wanted my movement to reflect this and become the tower myself. By observing my tower and writing down thoughts that were present, I came up with a list which triggered the next starting point for my improvisation. My movements became sharp, grounded and linear. Shapes were constructed, reflecting the brick patterns in the tower. By drawing attention to areas that perhaps missed in the space, our aim was to reclaim and make visible the neglected towers, building a relationship. Wherever you are, find a forgotten place, a spot that feels neglected, dulled, empty, make something there, or move within it, to enliven, to re-enchant it. The wooden beams attached to the brick wall provide a symmetry, unison and a sense of order. By using stillness, repetition and canon within this section, our aim was to undisturb the coherence and unification of the wood, left still and stagnant in the space. As the beams were attached to the wall, an opportunity arose for us to lean, sit and lay on them, creating a new purpose to the structure. It is noticeable grey gravel covers a vast majority of the ground here, less still and stationary and less walked on leaving a slight trace of physical interaction, interrupting the stillness. This is reflected in our movement choices with areas of no motion. The sounds presented when moving the gravel were interesting, providing our own rhythm to the pace we moved. Weeds invade the gravel, showing bursts of green and nature, intruding the industrial sense of the space, but adding to the derelict and unkept atmosphere presence. The open red brick seems old, showing signs of decay and erosion in some places, sparking questions about the age his and history of the site. Why was it first built? Who built it and for what purpose? As it is man-made, human interaction and strength is shown, but with it left unkept, a sense of neglect and abandonment is exposed. The cohesion of each brick fitting symmetrically into the wall, contrasting with the disjointed and uneven parts, shows another juxtaposition, which is reflected in the movement choices here. The words Women Unite are printed on the wall in a graffiti. We thought this was interesting as we were a group of three women in this space. Alexis firstly dances freely, moving on impulses, then joins me and Jess in a structured rehearsed motif. People occupy this space in many ways. The office workers, leisure walkers, people who live in the apartments, commuters passing by on the train and people in boats, travelling the canal. A journey of people is shown, passing through the space with perhaps destinations in mind. An accidental audience is always present. We decided to take the audience on a journey before our performance, leading them over the bridge and along the canal. We wanted them to embody the surroundings before the piece and notice the different sounds, smells and textures along the way. We used this social and structured walk to reflect the daily happenings of the space, the different journeys that are taken each day. I felt as if it gave the audience a chance to get a further feeling of the space and a sense of having a destination, although unclear of where it could be.
Our costumes were bright and stood out against the pedestrians, making it visible we were performers. Improvisation was a strong tool we used throughout our piece, in appreciation of the sights. Alexis slowly travelled down a low wall as me and Jess experimented in improvisation, taking impulses of our surrounding environment and off each other as the towers stared down at us. By slowly glancing at the individual towers, we gave the audience a subtle reminder of our reactions in the space, using the sight as the context for our performance. Linear movements and sharp lines were shown. Overall, our piece reclaimed and brought visibility to tower works. Using the free towers, textures and beams available, we appreciated and reacted to the space. This choreography is not possible to perform anywhere else. By using this unconventional performance space, distinctive movement and a new awareness of surroundings occurred.